All right, I'm just gonna walk through this real quick. Where you see these signals on the waterfall here. You're seeing the solid line and then it goes this way. That's because it's an upper side band signal. If it was the other way around, the solid would be over there going that way. But, and you can just take your mouse, move it around and look for these signals. Put it right on there. Or you can use the scroll wheel. You can just scroll through the band. Now this is the spectrum part of it. So the spectrum here is a spectrum scope. And then I prefer the waterfall because I can see the signal better. This over here kind of analyzes the signal a little bit more. You go select your band from here. If you want to get to the upper bands, you click here. Let's go see if there's anything on 10 meters. Nothing but interference. These are all interference spikes. You can try the 2 meter band. I'll key up one four six five two on here. <laughs> because it's so close. I wiped out my radio. So you can get this to go all the way up to whatever, 1.2 something. Six meters. But I don't see anything. Go back to the lower bands and let's see if we're sitting on 40. Doesn't really look like it. I just scanned through the waterfall to look for the signals. It sucks when you have interference like this. These are all spikes from something that could be anything. Um, a TV, a wall wart, a battery charger. But the fact that they're all evenly spaced means they're something from some nearby device. <laughs> 